Welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. We're gonna do this Molly mission now. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run around. <laughs> Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. Lombardo. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. <laughs> it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> yes. Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here, where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> a very sick man indeed. So are you, Uncle? So let's Lombago. Come on, then, you miserable bastards. Yeah. Wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. <laughs> hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellas were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it? Scoped here, exactly. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. Ed. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> That's a good girl. Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Not now, too early. Don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot. But this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey! Think I say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! That quick frame where Uncle doesn't have a beard. Well, he has like a. Like his beard should be there. It's not as big. How is this guy not dying? Okay, he died. No. 
Until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. <laughs> Uncle's the first one down. We need some her rest. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light. Over uh -oh. the house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... 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 Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Right, right. Tell me what you heard. I don't... I don't maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. That last name's Coop forth. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. How do you the not see me? there is full of crap. I don't They're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ah! Oh, let's go, Bill. Ah! Get in hell, boys! Don't get shallow face for you, tenderfoot! Let me get in there. More on the right here! Ah! Ah! <laughs> We got more of the bastards on this side! Try that again! Your back feet still for ten goddamn seconds? You got us into this! 
Oh shit! Fire! The oil from that lantern! Damn it! Almost got me! Oh shit! How about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall, alright? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone and up this. Woo! Hold them back! Do not let them close in on us! If we don't get out of here soon, we're charcoal! I ain't gonna. Oh! 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 Let's head to the woods. Woo. This is a really fun mission. Into the trees. Come on. Why does Charles have a way faster in the shotgun we'll out? Try to lose him in the woods. It's a badass, that's why. They split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. Hell yeah, I'm with the chat himself. Oh, shut the hell up. Quick, behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quiet. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? Your right or my right? Again, how do they not see us? Go give him a hand. Shocking so good, dude. We all still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got Cornwall on our backs. It was an again. honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Hello, Bo. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. <laughs> My God, what a woman. She's... This'll get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to <laughs> marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. <laughs> but they're gonna... 
They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Hmm. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Well, doll, I'm rich as hell. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Good girl. You doing good, girl? I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Ladies. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let yes, liberty ma reign. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> we must wise housekeepers and daughters be cooked. Now, the food now. And we Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, oh. Mr. Morgan. Not too quick ba -da -ba -da. and not too slow. We need them ba -da -ba -da. to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Well, maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. <laughs> I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Easy there. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, yeah, it's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. <laughs> a little further, please. Stop, Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 Is the day we begin to live as equals. Equal. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and 
and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> wow, what a, what a point he has. Hey, philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down, I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo. a fucking little. Why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. America. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield Can't no one goes to. America. What a land of the future. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. The hell you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. <laughs> the sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. <laughs> I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, Bo. Silly, silly Bo. Oh, we got a Lenny mission? Yep. Oh, hell. Yes. There we go. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that guy. What the? Yeah, I'm almost dead. Okay, girl. I didn't even see that guy. My horse is blocking him. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here. Who think they war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that? Maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. 
Okay. <laughs> Lily is so awesome. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. It's gonna be something all right. Hey, get up. I'm sleeping, Arthur. There she is. I Quit think with you're the getting a bit too attached to that bag. Come on, now. it's this way. On me. Ja. Hey, go a little faster, her horse. Yeah, there you go. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. <laughs> but I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Damn. Out west, it's out west is out west, and you're all who you are, right? Decent folks, but some places down here, they judge. Oh, there's the horse I killed. Well, no. well this can't it. be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny, and their guns still shoot. So I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Easy now. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Bayou. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. <laughs> F like you said. Hey, these crazies are sitting on weapons. We're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? That church? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Arthur is an amazing artist. Look at that. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look That's like explosives true. to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. 
End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bell. Bell. <laughs> I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Will you see anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. They got men covering the house. Down by the road, we do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? We got men everywhere. Off near the porch. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> but hey, I'm always up for a performance. I think I'll shoot the dynamite. I'm gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. We're here for your guns and your What? I tell you Is it windy? This is about revolvers. Quick! Nice. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something to get out. Sounds like a plan. Here. Come on. This rifles. is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. Easy. Go, go. Let's haul. Well, I'm trying to, Lenny, but the game's not letting me. Come on. G up. Fall in. Boy, you ain't side with the whip. Hey, riders, coming our way. Okay, keep a cool head. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. 
Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right <laughs> about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lines back. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Yeah. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> Good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know. Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just <laughs> you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But enough, but enough. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts. We know what you do for Jose. this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> Who doesn't, dude? You know how to fight. Lenny's hey, awesome. you too. Anytime, Arthur. Got a bolt action rifle now. We got a Bill mission here, and you know, Bill... He's kind of a stupid guy, so I don't wonder what this could be. I need a word with you, Morgan. Who named a horse Bob? <laughs> I just realized somebody's horse in the camp is named Bob. We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked <sighs> up all that commotion at Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense and... I don't know. I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? I hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy. But I ain't gonna lie to you, there will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. So, Bill. The light in the background's not really oh, that good. It is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. That man. The debtor? Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? 
Huh. Well, then he didn't seem very well. His wife. True. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can. Head up there and collect. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little Solid town. Solid Nothing plan. that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, let's Dynamite. move out. Yeah. All right, girl. So, tell me again about this big can't-go-wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, We'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them, and Dude, you're running me off the road here, Bill. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. <laughs> I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. Hey, I said long I wasn't mistake. going to anymore. And I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that. Once things get going. So, thinking this through. You rob corn, boss train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, <laughs> we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I feel like I they do. sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last I bet, few I'm, I bet Arch is not that much older than Forget the, about Cornwall. Arch is like 35. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery. I ain't too worried. If you say so. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to hey, forget that. Hey, that's awesome. What little I remember of it. 
You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Keep it down now. We're here. <clears throat> Mister? I know you. You're trouble. No. I'm not trouble. There, girl. Hey there, mister. Hello. Mister. Good morning. Morning to you. Good morning to you. How are you, ma'am? Good morning. Morning. All right, stranger. All right, stranger. Well, I nice to call a stranger. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay. What the fuck? Get ready. Karen, go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. Never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Let's go with the drunken harlot, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. <laughs> now where is he? <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Sex, Wait till madam. she's got him real down. Sounds like you don't know me. Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just mm -hmm. between us. I I've never seen this woman in my life. <laughs> Get your goddamn right, go. hands up. Go. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. Go ah. hard up. Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here, unlock the door. It's unlocked. We're good. Oh, oh you think we're here? Come on. Come on. Kind of. Yeah. Oh. Open that goddamn oh. door. Oh. Open it. Oh. Oh. Not a shield. To goddamn stop. Just open the goddamn door. Too goddamn uh, slow! Uh, uh, Shut up, bitch! Hurry up! Come on! Uh, 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 okay. Uh, Ow. Uh, I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'm gonna try to crack them. Can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you <laughs> better be quick. <laughs> You shut the hell up and stay still. Come 
on, come on! How are you getting on? I'm going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. It's not taking too long. It's not taking that long. I opened the safe quicker than the... I'm guessing what these numbers are, and I'm opening the safe quicker than I'm that oh, that guy out there. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Oh, wrong way. Please, let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Sorry, partner. <clears throat> Shit. Hurry up! I heard. Go on. Oh, that was cool. Boom, that was quick. Got one more. 5,000. I should not really been paying, paying, paying that much attention to how much we're getting for each one, but probably a lot. Did I do it? Quick enough? Gentlemen! Damn hurry. it! I we seem it. to have some company! Damn it. Sometimes you can do it quick enough where you don't get spotted. Assuming folk ain't getting there, you won't swing! I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know. Give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead! I'll go. Follow me. What, are you insane? Probably. <laughs> don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry. Just heard a shot. Come on! Let me go! This game looks so fucking good, dude. Right behind you! We're shooting up! I'm surprised, they have a, I'm surprised they have a lot of lawmen left after the last time they were here. I know, it's bad. Woo! Oh my god, they're going so slow. There's more of them. Okay, what? You see any more of them? Oh, my mini map is. But I'm End with the shootouts. I'm a loser, bro.
We lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Oh yeah, let's go to the Downs. To the Downs Ranch. Hello, Mrs. Downs. My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. <laughs> he was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <laughs> well, got maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. I'm so glad they didn't make it right, right back to camp. Um, that would have been annoying. Music. So good. And the cinematography. Thank you. 